What's different about conscious information is that it does not stay confined in a specific circuit for processing the word, but the word gets broadcasted to many additional areas. So my uh, theory of consciousness is called the global neuronal workspace. And quite succinctly, uh, it states that information which is conscious is information which is broadcasted throughout the cortex so that multiple areas of the cortex are being informed of the corresponding content. So what we call being conscious is essentially uh, having the information available to many of our brain processes. Unconscious information is processed in the cortex, in various areas of the cortex. We've shown, for instance, that an unconscious word will be processed for meaning in specific areas of the brain. But what's different about conscious information is that it does not stay confined in a specific circuit for processing the word, but the word gets broadcasted to many additional areas. And that's why when we are conscious of information, we can speak about it, we can remember it in the long term, we can act upon it in various ways. The information is essentially at our fingertips.